Billy Bush. I'm an engineer and producer from Los Angeles. Um, in this situation, I've been the band Garbage's engineer since 1996, and I tend to oversee all the audio sort of quality control that the band does both live and in the studio. I started out as a musician. I play guitar and some keyboards, and when I was young, I was always fascinated with recording my own bands, you know, from four track days onwards. As a kid growing up in Kansas, like, seemed like a far away, un impossible dream. And I kind of fell into being a touring uh, roadie for quite a few years, and the very first band I ever worked with ended up in the studio working on their second record, and they were at uh, Criteria Studios, which is now the Hit Factory in Miami. And they were having problems with their guitars, so they said, hey, come out and keep the guitars in tune. I walk into the, into the studio that the Bee Gees did Saturday Night Fever in, see this massive desk, all these people working around, and all this magical sounds coming out of the speakers. And I'm like, this is amazing. I want to know how this is done. And fast forward to 1995, I get a phone call from Garbage saying that they need somebody to help them recreate what they did in the studio live. I want to know if I'd come out and help. I was like, well, you know, Butch Vig's in the band. I think that might be a pretty good place for me to get an education. So yeah, absolutely, I'll come out. And it transitioned into, you know, they understood that I understood the technology, and this was right when we were going from, you know, samplers and analog tape to the world of digital design and Pro Tools, and that I understood that stuff really, really well. And that Butch was like, you know what? I've always had an engineer on every record I do. You're going to be my engineer. I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about recording, and you teach me everything I need to know about Pro Tools. I was like, deal. The thing I love most about Pro Tools is it's a very easy system to wrap your head around. It's not as complicated as a lot of other digital audio workstations and it's incredibly robust, incredibly stable and so prevalent that once you learn how to use it you can kind of go into any studio on the planet and it will be exactly the same. Seventy percent of the work I do is mixing. Um, I still find Pro Tools to be the ultimate mix platform. The delay compensation always works. There's no sort of finagling. Quality of the plugins to me is better than anything else. Pro Tools is like still the only one that's the most stable when you get into very heavy track counts, very heavy processing, and also the ability to just, like I said, drop something in with zero latency at any time. <laughs> 